Hello everyone, now let us focus on CPT coding guidelines for radiology part 2. In the current session, we will be discussing about diagnostic ultrasound and in specific, we will be focusing on ultrasound of abdomen and tetroperitoneum. Coming to the various categories in the ultrasound, diagnostic ultrasound is categorized into head and neck, chest, abdomen and retroperitoneum, pelvis. Pelvis, it, pelvis is again categorized into obstetrical and non-obstetrical, genitalia and extremities. So in the current session, we will be focusing in detail on the diagnostic ultrasound of abdomen and retroperitoneum. So first of all, what is diagnostic ultrasound? All diagnostic ultrasound examinations require permanently recorded images with measurements when such measurements are clinically indicated and the final written report should be issued for inclusion in the patient's medical record. So without the diagnostic images and the final written report, you cannot consider a ultrasound. But there are certain exceptions as in case of 76514 for those codes whose sole diagnostic purpose is biometric measurement. For those codes whose sole diagnostic purpose is biometric measurement, for such codes, permanently recorded images are not required. Example are 76514 which is nothing but corneal patchymetry unilateral or bilateral, 76516 ophthalmic biometry by ultrasound echography A scan and similarly 76519 ophthalmic biometry by ultrasound echography A scan with intraocular lens power calculations. So these are the examples of codes for which permanently recorded images are not required except these majority of the diagnostic ultrasound codes they need permanently recorded images with measurements and even a final written report. Now coming to the types of ultrasound. Ultrasound is broadly categorized into two types complete ultrasound and limited ultrasound. What is complete? Description of all elements and or or reason that element could not be visualized should be documented. First of all, before considering a complete ultrasound of any anatomical region, first we must make a list of all elements whose description is mandatory in order to certify that as complete ultrasound. So description of all elements should be present or the reason why particular element is absent should be mentioned in order to quote complete ultrasound. For those anatomical regions that have complete or limited ultrasound quotes, note the elements that comprise a complete exam. So, in order to quote complete ultrasound, report should contain a description of all these elements or else the reason that an element could not be visualized. That is, it is obscured by bowel gas or whenever an organ is surgically absent, you cannot visualize it. Or simple physician documentation that he is unable to examine all organs must be present. The reason why an element is not visualized or simply a physician's documentation that he is unable to examine all organs must be present in order to code complete ultrasound. So when will we go for limited code? If less than required elements for a complete exam are reported. Whenever less than required elements for a complete exam are reported, then we go for limited code limited number of organs or limited portion of the region evaluated. In such cases, limited code for that anatomical region should be coded once per patient examination. 
the ground rule for coding ultrasound is a limited exam of an anatomical region should not be reported for the same exam session as a complete exam of that same region in another words if a physician is performing the ultrasound of abdomen for a same exam session you should not code both limited exam code and complete exam code either one of the code should be assigned a limited exam of an anatomical region should not be reported for the same exam session as a complete exam of that same region and for the evaluation of vascular structures using both color and spectral doppler these services should be reported separately for the evaluation of vascular structures along with ultrasound whenever we use both color and spectral drop spectral doppler these services should be coded separately for that we need to refer non invasive vascular diagnostic studies which come under the series 93880 and 93990 an exception is only color doppler alone when performed for anatomical structure identification in conjunction with a real time ultrasound exam is not reported separately so if only color doppler is used in conjunction that is in combination with a real time ultrasound exam then we need not code color doppler service now coming to the types of ultrasound there are four types of ultrasound first one is a mode this is one dimensional ultrasonic measurement procedure a mode is nothing but one dimensional ultrasonic measurement procedure next is m mode one dimensional ultrasonic measurement with movement of trace to record amplitude and velocity of moving echo producing structures next type is b scan implies a two dimensional ultrasonic scanning procedure with a two dimensional display finally real time scan implies a two dimensional ultrasonic scanning procedure with display of both two dimensional structure and motion with time so broadly there are four types of ultrasound a mode m mode b scan and real time scan b scan and real time scan are two dimensional ultrasonic scanning procedures whereas a mode and m mode are one dimensional ultrasonic measurements now coming to the diagnostic ultrasound of abdomen and peritoneum The first code which we will discuss is seven six seven double zero. So, for a complete ultrasound examination of abdomen, the code is seven six seven double zero. A complete ultrasound examination of abdomen consists of real time scans of eight elements or organs. A complete ultrasound examination of abdomen. it consists of real time scans of eight elements or organs the elements are liver gall bladder common bile duct pancreas spleen kidneys upper abdominal aorta inferior vena cava including any demonstrated abnormality of abdomen including any demonstrated abdominal abnormality so these are the eight elements or organs that must be visualized in order to code a complete ultrasound examination of abdomen code that is nothing but 76700 now let us discuss about various codes of ultrasound of abdomen the first code is as we have discussed earlier 76700 the description is ultrasound abdomen real time with image documentation complete the word complete indicates here eight elements or organs must be covered in order to code this particular code 
The next code is 76705, which is nothing but limited. Ultrasound of abdomen limited. That is either single organ is covered or a quadrant or a simple follow-up visit. Must be given or assigned the code 76705. Next, ultrasound abdominal iota real-time with image documentation screening study, study for abdominal aortic aneurysm. The next code is 76706 which indicates ultrasound abdomen, abdominal iota real-time with image documentation screening study for abdominal aortic aneurysm. So there are Broadly, three codes which indicate ultrasound of abdomen 76700, 76705, and 76706. 76700 is nothing but complete ultrasound of abdomen, whereas 76705 is incomplete ultrasound of abdomen, and finally, 76706 is ultrasound of abdominal iota. With real-time image documentation screening study for abdominal aortic aneurysm. Now let us discuss an example. A patient in the clinic with a history of cholithiasis is coming in with sharp abdominal pain with vomiting and nausea. An ultrasound of gallbladder is performed, relieving she has stones in the gallbladder. What CPT code is reported? The answer is 76705 because here the ultrasound of gallbladder which is one of the element, one element of the abdomen. So hence it is a single organ is covered here. You will use limited code 76705, limited ultrasound of abdomen, single organ or quadrant or simple follow. Now coming to ultrasound of retroperitoneum. The various codes are 76770, 76775 and 76776. So let us discuss first code 76770 which is nothing but ultrasound of retroperitoneum. Example renal iota and nodes. Ultrasound retroperitoneal real time with image documentation complete and similarly 76775 is ultrasound retroperitoneal real time with image documentation limited and finally 76776 is nothing but ultrasound of transplanted kidney real time and duplex doppler with image documentation. Here in this code the duplex Doppler is included 76776 ultrasound of transplanted kidney. So whenever ultrasound of transplanted kidney is done we must report the code 76776. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further videos on medical coding and CPC training.